What is up guys? Welcome to part two of the How to Turbo a Mazda 3 step-by-step -step guide. Today, just like I told you, we are going to, I'm going to be showing you how to how well how I installed my intercooler and piping. So stay tuned. So like I said in my last video, the kind of piping and stuff that I bought is this brand right here, RDT Motoring. It's just a, I call it the eBay brand, but I know that's no such thing as eBay brand, but that is what I bought. Now, a couple things that are not the RDT, like I had to get a custom coupler here from a, so it would go from a two inch to two and a half to meet my uh, down pipes and stuff and the other pipe that I had to get was the one for the blow off valve which is the piece that goes in between here but there's actually several different ways that you can run your piping for me I found this to be the easiest way because I wanted to keep my air conditioner so you can run it underneath the engine which I'll, I'll show you that route here in just a minute when we crawl under there and, but I didn't want to do that because I didn't want to drop my AC compressor. So I went with this route. So I got the, I, I clocked the turbo, had it facing up, and I, I decided to run it around the engine. I thought about trying to go over this, but there wasn't really much clearance between the, the side of the front and the motor. So that's why I chose the way that I went. So I got it down. I decided to choose, go down and it just curves straight down. And then it kind of goes down in front of the engine, around the radiator, through the intercooler, back out, and it comes up to right here. So it was pretty, it wasn't too hard. Uh, I, I, after I got the layout, um, I just had to pretty much fit the pieces and cut them and make them fit. But let me crawl underneath the car here and I will show you another way you can route it in the way that I do have it routed. So no lie is given. I am actually doing filming two videos at once. So I'm not going to give away what the other one is. So you can't get it out of me. You're just going to have to watch. Actually, yes, you're just going to have to watch. It'll come out uh, later. But anyway, I'm being counterproductive. All right, so let's get underneath here, and I will show you. So, I, well, I'll tell you that because some of the pipes I had to remove for this project, and so they're just loosely in here. So, but I kind of put them back into place just to give you an idea. Okay, so up top is this pipe right here. That's the one that uh, um, that it comes right out of the turbo and comes down. So it's actually coming down here. And I have it, whoop, and I'll just pull that apart, but it'll be all right. So I kind of come down here. It's, it usually sits right up here, right against the radiator. And it runs almost right in front of the oil filter. And it's usually connected, not flopping there. And then move around here. And, okay, there we go. Sorry about that. So it curves around. Blah, blah, blah. Here we go. Right into the front mount intercooler. The intercooler is in front of the radiator. It comes out, it wraps around, and then I have it going right back up. And somewhere, let's see here. There we go. And it goes into the pipe where the blow off out is sitting, and then goes straight to the intake. So. Yeah, so that's that's the route that I decided to run. Now, some other people run that I was talking about. So right up here is your exhaust manifold. There it is. So some people actually clock the turbo. There you are. There you are. To where the outlet faces down. So you can actually run the pipe. I don't know where you'd have room, but I've seen this done. They run the pipe somewhere through here 
and then they run it right here because here's your AC compressor. Sorry, this is so close, but there's really no other way to do this. They usually remove the air compressor and they run it like through, through there, through the hole, and then through their front mount and around. I found that to be too complicated, so I don't want to do that. But if you're going to try that, please take some pictures. I like to see how that's done. But uh, but yeah, the pipes they really weren't bad. The hardest part was mounting the radio or that the intercooler. So I'm going to show you how I did that now. So obviously, what you want to do first before you install the front mount intercooler behind your bumper is you're going to have to remove your bumper. So if you've never done that, it's really not that hard. It's just uh, you got a couple screws on the side, a couple screws on the other side, and you got uh, several that go across the top. And you you shouldn't, I don't think, I'm trying to remember, I don't think you have to remove your headlights, but we will go over that uh, here in a minute. But first, um, I want to show you my, my hand. <laughs> I'm going to show you my homemade brackets for um, my intercooler. So like I said before, I wanted a black intercooler. I know it's probably hard to see. This is probably bad for video, but it's back there, I promise. And this is where I wanted it. I, I didn't get a very big one. I don't remember what size this one is. I can measure it for you, and I'll put that in the description below. But, um, my original plan was to have two brackets on the bottom and two on the top to hold it in. But actually, I just got two brackets on the bottom because, and that's all you need. Like, it's it, and this sucker's not going nowhere. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so I just got these pieces of metal. Get these at Lowe's. Got these bolts. You also get those at Lowe's. <laughs> and I just decided, okay, this is where I wanted it. So I got it into place. And I marked off these brackets where I wanted to bolt it in. So I bolted one here and kind of cock guided off almost not well somewhere between 45 and 90 degree angle, maybe about 60 maybe. And then I bolted it in and screwed it into this this little nut thing right here. So that's what's holding on this side. Now this side's a little different because of the clearance that I had, because I didn't want to remove my radiator and all that. So this one, it angles the other way, but the bolt goes down and it screws in at the bottom instead of at the top. But like I said, I was gonna put two brackets at the top, which you can, I was gonna attach them to the, to the top bumper, but this is good. I mean, it ain't going nowhere. So, and also remember when you put this back on, you get two little air sensors right here that you want to make sure you put those back in place so or the computer probably won't be happy with you but yeah uh let me show you those top brackets if i was going to put them on so here is the top of the uh intercooler and see right here it comes with two or it already comes with a bracket for holes for brackets so my plan i was going to build a bracket that goes up and attaches right here to the metal frame or bumper whatever you want to call it but i decided that i didn't need it because it's 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 sturdy so that is how i did it now to line up the intercooler i mean you could possibly do this without removing your bumper but I found it easier to move, remove it, so if you are going to go that route, I do know that you'll have to take these screws out right here, which are the ones that hold your 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 front plate in, which that's literally just two screws, one here, one over there, and this, these just pop out, seeing so, you know, it's already coming loose. So this right here just pops in, pops in, and then you got a bolt here and a bolt right there. All right, and then the rest of your bolts really are on the inside of your bumper here. If you pull back your your wheel well, you'll see there's like uh, there's like one or two that's right in that area. Um, of course, if you still have the bottom shroud, you'll have to take that off as well. I just leave mine off because I got tired of taking it off. <laughs> 
so that concludes part two of the step-by-step -step guide on how to turbo a Mazda 3. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions about the intercooler or how to install it or what size you need or anything like that, just leave it in the comment below or uh, I do have my email in the description below. So just shoot me an email. I try to write back as quickly as I can as I receive them. Um, I usually check that email at least once a day, sometimes twice. So you will get a response eventually. So um, hope you all stay tuned for next Wednesday's video, part three. Three? Trace? What do you want to call it? about the blow off the elf and hooking up the boost gauge so I know that it seems like I kind of went backwards on this which which yeah some people will, will probably hate I don't really care because they're like why don't you hook the turbo up first well I thought the fabrication of this stuff would be would take me longer so it's just how I did it so you can do it however whatever order you want but Anyway, hope y'all enjoy this and have a great rest of your week.